Good morning, everyone. I want to extend a very warm welcome to all of you who have come here today for a Requiem Mass for Noel Curran, who is a highly respected and much loved parishioner in this parish. And I also want to welcome those who are not able to be here today, who due to COVID reg regulations are unable, especially family members. And in normal times, of course, this church would have been full, but due to COVID and the restrictions, that is not possible, which makes it all the more difficult for the family. So we ask the Lord to be with you in a special way today to comfort you. Noel will be a huge loss to all who had the privilege of knowing him. And to get, today we gather as a faith community to honour and to pray for the happy repose of Noel's soul and to give thanks for the many gifts which he bestowed on others in life. We also pray for the family members who grieve today and remember especially Noel's daughters, Margaret and Bridget, and their partners, Patrick and Matthew, his sons, John, Eugene, Noel, and Richard, his daughters-in-law, Bridget, Emer, and Cathy, his sister, Margaret, his sisters-in-law, Phyllis and Maura, his brothers-in-law, Peter and Dick, his 14 grandchildren, and his two great-grandchildren, his nieces and nephews, and all the extended family and friends. And we pray that the Lord comfort you in your sorrow today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge the Lord's power to forgive I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Noel, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Now I'd like to invite Brian and Luke now to come forward for the readings. First reading, Ecclesiastes. A time for everything. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pick up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God in whom we we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one whom we hoped, we exult, and we rejoice that he has saved us. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that whoever believes in the Son shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. Alleluia. Please stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If they were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Today we gather to mourn and to pray for Noel Curran, who has departed from this life. We also pray for the family and friends who are left behind. And we ask the Lord to comfort you with his peace. Parting with someone we love is always such a difficult and painful process. The closer the bond that we have with that person, and the longer the period of separation is likely to be, the more we feel the pain of that parting. We all know this to a limited extent, when we go to see off a loved one at an airport or a seaport. One moment we are engaged in pleasant conversation with them, and moments later they have gone out of our lives. And we feel an emptiness and a sense of loss, a void. Why is this? Why is parting so painful? Because it is only when we have to part with someone that we realize just how much we love that person, how much that person has been an influence in our lives. As Cattle Griblin put it, love knows not its own depth until the hour of separation. In fact, the true worth of a person may not become fully apparent to us until that person has actually gone from us. And what is true of ordinary partings is even truer of the parting that we call death, because death, seemingly, is the most irrevocable parting of all. This time, our loved one will not be returning. 
we will never have another opportunity in this life to tell them how much they meant to us. Jesus very much understood the pain of parting and knew the terrible effect his parting would have on his disciples. You must remember that they had left their livelihoods, they had left everything to follow this man who was the Messiah. They expected that he would set up a kingdom and that they would obviously have important positions in that kingdom. But that was not Jesus' plan. His kingdom was not of this world. And in today's gospel, he was preparing them for his parting. Not a normal parting, but a horrible death on a cross, a death by crucifixion. So that's why he was telling them, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. He also made that wonderful promise to his disciples, which he makes to every one of us. I shall return to take you with me so that where I am, you may be too. Noel's life has not ended. It has changed. And Noel has gone now to the place prepared for him by God. There is a place prepared by God for each one of us, and the way to it is through Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Death is a reminder to all of us that we will all make that journey. Noel very much understood that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. At baptism, he was, became a child of God. And when the waters of baptism were poured over him, Jesus said to Noel, you do not belong to death, you belong to me, you belong to life. At baptism, as we said, Noel became a child of God. And St. John tells us that in the future, the children of God shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. So today, yes, there is sadness, but there is also the hope and the joy that Noel is now with the Lord and reunited with his beloved wife, Betty, and his son, Davy. Today, we reflect on and give thanks for Noel's life. He was born in Dublin on the 21st of December, 1934, one of a family of six boys and three girls, born to Thomas and Margaret Curran. Noel attended O'Connell's primary school, and after schooling was completed, Noel was self-employed for most of his working life in the taxi, retail and hospitality business. For the last seven years of his working life, he worked for Tara Mines in Navan. His working career was cut short when he was the innocent party in a head-on collision. Noel met Betty at a dance in the Crystal Ballroom off Grafton Street in Dublin. They married in 1961 in Berkeley Road Church, and they were blessed with their two daughters, Margaret and Bridget, and their five sons, John, Eugene, Noel, Richard, and Davy. The family settled in Reistown in 1970. Noel was a devoted husband and father, who worked hard to provide for his family. He and Betty shared a common desire for their children to achieve their fullest potential in life and to avail of the opportunities which were presented to them. Noel imparted to his children a strong sense of discipline and dedication to achieve success in their respective careers. A keen sportsman, Noel had a passion for both soccer and Gaelic football 
and was an accomplished player, having played for Dundalk and the Sean McDermott. Noel was also involved in training and racing greyhounds and trained a derby winner. He was a great lover of classical music and had a keen interest in current affairs. Without doubt, Noel played an important part in encouraging his children to pursue excellence, both in sports and in their chosen careers. Noel enjoyed a healthy life up until 13 years ago, and despite various medical challenges, he carried on with life with determination and was blessed to have the loving support and care of his wife, Betty. The loss of his son, Davy, and his wife, Betty, in close succession, took a severe toll on him. After a relatively short illness, the Lord called him home on Father's Day, early on Sunday morning. Noel will be greatly missed by all who knew him, but especially by his family and friends. We pray that the Lord comfort you in your sorrow today and fill you with his peace. We now commend Noel to God's infinite mercy in faith and in hope. I'd like to invite Sally and Una and Bridget and Cathy to come forward for the prayers of the faithful. For those who live a sincere and good life, the hour of death is transformed into the hour of glory because Christ gives them the crown of eternal life. Let us pray now with confidence in this time of loss. Noel lives, lived Christ's commandment of love. He may now hear those words, O come, blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the word. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The family and friends of Noel seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel their darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We are gathered here in faith and confidence to pray for Noel. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who mourn the loss of their loved ones, that they will find comfort in their sadness, certainty in their doubt, and courage in their loneliness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who nursed Noel in his illness, we thank you for their vocation and pray that all of them will be rewarded for their gentleness and care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May friends and family that have gone before us and await the kingdom be granted an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That from this place in the kingdom of the Father, he may intercede us and help continue to help us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Eternal rest grant unto Noel, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him, and may he rest in peace. And may Noel's soul and Betty's soul and Davy's soul and souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Lord, may you support us all day long till the shadows lengthen and evening falls, the busy world is hushed, 
and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy, Lord, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at last. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Noel, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Noel, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters. Remember Betty and Davy and all of the deceased members of the current family who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we stand and dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And we commend Noel now to the protection of our Heavenly Mother. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come before we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer us. Amen. And I invite Richard now to do a little reflection. This is a, a poem I wrote about 35 years ago when I was a young man and uh, in my late teens. And it's a poem about connection and distance and love. I lay awake last night in the end room I was talking to myself, untying a nerves knot in my stomach with soft words that tried to calm my fears within. Then suddenly I heard a gentle low voice in the next room. It was my father, lying awake, talking to himself, untying a nerves knot in his stomach with soft words that tried to calm his fears within. And as I lay there listening to him, I hoped that someday, maybe many years from now, his words and mine, which rose up through the slated roof and scattered into the winded sky, would someday meet and greet as friends. Rest in peace, Dad. Thank you very much, Richard, for those heartfelt words. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Noel may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of Noel. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Now I ask you now to remain in silence while I bless and incense the remains.
in the response to the intercession says, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to Noel's aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Response. May Christ who called you, Noel, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Eternal rest grant unto Noel, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend Noel in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Noel in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with Noel forever. And just I want to, the family would like me to read the following acknowledgement. The family wish to thank Noel's GP, Dr. Cronin, also the doctors, nurses and carers in Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital, the Lyth County Hospital and Moorhall Lodge Nursing Home in RD for their excellent care for Noel during his illness and for their support to the family. It was very much appreciated. And I invite Sally now to play Going Home.
And now, in peace, let us take Noel to his place of rest.
peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let's assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with Noel. Together we may meet Christ Jesus when he hears our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long for, will come from heaven to save us. O God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it. As we bury here the body of Noel, deliver his soul from every bond of sin, that he may rejoice in you with your saints forever. Because God has chosen to call Noel from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend Noel to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. Dear friends and reverends, let us pray to God, the source of all mercies. You raised the dead to life. Give Noel eternal life, Lord of mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to those who mourn for Noel today and dry the tears of those who weep. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Noel. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all who are buried in this cemetery and remember Betty and Davy and all of those in this, who are buried in this cemetery. May their suffering be lessened. May their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine on them. And may they rest in peace. Lord, have mercy. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of Noah. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may you join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May the prayers of Mary, the Mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help those who mourn for Noel, and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest grant unto Noel, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace, and may Noel's soul, Betty's soul, Davy's soul, and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May I bless you all now in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. Steal away, steal away home. I ain't got long to stay here. My Lord, he calls me. He calls me by the thunder, the trumpet sound within my soul. I ain't got long to stay here. Steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. Steal away, steal away home, I ain't got long to stay here. My Lord, he calls me, he calls me by the lightning, the trumpet sound within my soul. I ain't got long to stay here. Steal away, steal.